What's up guys, I Apple Tuber here and today I have a completely different video for you guys. So in today's video, it is actually for the first time on my channel, not related to iOS or Apple or any sort of that. Today I'm gonna go ahead and talk to you and show you guys how to video edit with Wondershare. So basically for those YouTubers who just started or just want to know about a new video editing software, which is free as well to try, that is definitely good and also you can use it for a good amount of time for free, really useful. I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys how to use the software, how to get the software and everything about the software will be spoken about in this video. So yes guys, this is the first time trying to do a different videos. I wanna see if you guys do enjoy these type of videos. If so, I will increase these type of videos as well and upload a lot more of these sort of videos on the channel. So please make sure to let me know in the comment section if you did enjoy this video. I just quickly want to let you guys know that you can also get this software on Windows or Mac so you guys are not limited. But now let's get started. All right guys, so here it is, Wondershare Filmora. So video editing simplified. Create amazing videos using Filmora's wide range of powerful editing tools and as well guys, before proceeding, this is a pretty easy software to use. I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys the software, but just notice for those who just started with YouTube or who just, just want to learn how to video edit, this is a very good software to use. So as I mentioned, you have for both Windows or Mac and it is a free download. So let's scroll down and even learn more. So as you can see, over 50 million five-star users. Definitely nice to know. So as you can see, it also used effect store subscription. So here is the part where you need a subscription if you want so. It has the 4K editing support, which means you can render and upload videos on 4K, even on YouTube, which is definitely good. Noise removal, and a lot of editing softwares do not have this feature, but Filmora does have it, definitely good. So basically what this does is removes background noise. A lot of people, when they usually record, they have a lot of background noise or their mic is making annoying sounds. With this method, you can remove. But now, actually, let's go ahead and show you guys the software. All right, guys, so here's the software, the latest version. So, let's say you wanna start now making a video. So you have three options here. Easy mode. So for those who's just started, this might be a good way to start, where basically you just upload your files to the software and it makes a video for yourself. So it basically trims your videos, makes your video more interesting, also puts some few transitions here and there and really easy method of uploading a video, rendering it and uploading to, to YouTube, as simple as that. Then you have the instant cutter, action cam tool, or you have the full feature mode, which a lot of YouTubers use this because you have full control over your videos. So before you also start that, you have the aspect ratio you can start with. So if you wanna have 16, 9, 4, 3, 1, 1, 9, 16, usually I just wanna keep on the wide screen, or if you want, you can keep it on standard screen if you want so, really doesn't matter. Then you wanna click on full feature. Let me just go ahead and show you guys about full feature first and then we'll talk about easy mode. So as you can see, here is full feature. I just uploaded a clip right here just to show you guys. Pretty, pretty simple on how to upload it. Let's just close that. You just want to import, you just click on import, import media files, media folder, or if you wanna record, you have the record from webcam, record PC screen. This is basically a, uh, a screen recorder or you record a voiceover if you want so. So here you have the mus media, music, text, credit, transitions, filters, overlays, elements, split screen, or export. Let's just go quickly add a media here and show you guys how to drag and drop, add text, and transition. Let me just go ahead and do that. All right guys, so I just went and found an anti-revoke video that I made a lot back on my YouTube channel, and I just found the clip, so I'm just gonna go ahead and show you guys it is. So as you can see here it is, the name of the clip as well as anti-revoke, which was the clip I recorded. So first of all, you get a short, uh, overlook of how the video will look when you're editing so you know how you're editing and when and what part you want to cut it So let me just go ahead and first drag and drop the clip here So as you can see here is the full clip and then here Let's say you want to add some transition to it. Let's say it's one part here of the video You definitely do not want to have you want to start cutting it So here's the cut option here guys you click on the cut option and here's the delete option So you click on that click click on delete and then done you will delete the clip if you want. So let me just go and put it back here. So with the cut option, you basically get a lot of options to go ahead and cut the video. So let's say we just wanna delete the intro first, okay? So you just drag this here. So here's the clip you wanna delete. You click on cut. As you can see now, 
this part of the clip is no longer related to here you just want to click on here click on delete done as you can see the intro of my video is now gone and it is immediately starting to show you guys the beginning of the video so that was with the cut and delete option so let's say you just want to add the transition at one part of your video as you can see you have the option of fade dissolve as you if, if you guys usually watch my videos i definitely use a lot of fades and transition into my video so let's say you just want to add a transition at this part of the video and let's just go and play it and see how it will look as you could guys see there was a fade here so as you can see let me just go and play that one second if you want so as you can see guys from a black screen it went to the video which basically makes your video look a lot and a lot interesting so yes guys this is the full method i'm not going to sit here and tell you guys about everything that's going to take more than 20 or 30 minutes i do not want to waste anyone's time here this was the full feature method to use let me just quickly go and show you guys the easy method if you want to use that all right guys so i just went ahead and closed the video editing and opening it again so let's go to the easy mode now which i was talking about for those who just started so as you can see as i mentioned you just import a media file let me just go ahead and import the same file which i just used let me just go ahead and do that now so as you can see here it is uploaded so basically now you just want to click on next now here's a team let's say you want to make it happy or sport or travel old days or just simple if you just want to make it a simple one click on next then you have music so here it is guys i just click on drift pages turn click on next and as you can see guys you just want to wait for your movie to start preparing and when that is done as you can see it's not going to take a lot of time as well then it's going to give you a short preview and then we'll give you the option to save and share all right guys so as you can see it should be about done now so just while that is done i just want to let you guys know using this easy method you do not have the full options to edit your video but using the full feature option, you have the option to use the video. So as you can see, the opening title is going to be my movie. You can definitely change this, whatever you want. Let's say, just say for, uh, let's say record. And the closing title, you just kind of, just let's say, keep it for, uh, let's say just for thank you. It doesn't really matter. You guys can do whatever you want. Let me just fix that there's it done so you can keep your original sound if you want or if you just want to play that music you have the option to click or unclick this so let me just go ahead and show you guys what is that done to the video so as you can see now here is this short opening title and now it should start showing the video as you can see now here is giving a few quick nice you can see the intro is playing the video is playing here so yes guys let me just go pause you do not have the full option to edit and um, edit your videos, but with this method, for those who just started, very, very good to use it. Let's click on next. And now, as you can see, I told you guys, it does have the option for YouTube. So for those who do not know, you can upload on TS, 3PG or MPEG2, which I prefer using this one. You can use the file, you, what you want to name your file, where to save it, and done. Easy as this, you can use this realization, click on settings, you can change whatever you want, you can click on good, or best if you want, click on OK, and then you will export and it will completely render and upload your video onto your PC, and then you can upload the video onto YouTube. So yes, guys, that was it with today's video. I hope that you guys did enjoy this video. Just once again, I mentioned this is the first time I'm doing a different sort of video, not related to Apple or iDevices. So please let me know in the comment section if you did enjoy these sort of videos. I'm definitely liking these type of videos and I'll definitely upload more if you guys want so. So I hope that you guys have a great day. Please make sure to leave a like and subscribe and also have a wonderful day as well. Much more content dropping very soon. I, Apple, to here, signing off.